ladies and gentlemen, we return to the action here inside MGM Grand in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is boxing presented by Bob Arum's Top Rank. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the light flyweight division. Our judges at ringside, Lisa Giampa, Dave Moretti, and Patricia Morse Jarman. The man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Russell Mora. Fighting out of the blue corner, she weighed in at 109.9 pounds wearing white trunks with green trim. She brings a perfect record of six wins, no losses. One of those victories coming by way of knockout from New Rochelle, New York, Natalie the Barracuda Gonzalez. Fighting out of the red corner, presented in association with group Yvonne Michel. She weighed in at 109.8 pounds, wearing white trunks with black trim. She also brings a perfect record of 11 wins, no losses, two wins by way of knockout from Montreal, Canada, Kim Clavel! Centering. Okay, ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. Hey. All right, this fight scheduled for eight rounds. And just as a reminder, in women's boxing, they are two minute rounds, not three minute rounds, as we have in the men's professional boxing. Although a lot of women that I talked to are said, I, I would love for them to change it and just make it three rounds. And as you and I had experience of calling Michaela Mayer and Helen Joseph uh, last week, those two minutes go by real fast. Real fast. And yes, I agree with you. I've, I've spoken to many women about this. They, they, they like the idea of switching to three-minute rounds. Uh, Natalie Gonzalez is an aggressive, come forward. She says pressure fighter, likes to throw a lot of combinations, but not a lot of tape out there no. um, on, on either of these women. And, and for Kim Clavel being her U.S. debut, all of her fights taking place in Canada, primarily in, in Montreal, Quebec. She said she gets to see Las Vegas from the window of her hotel room, and that's it. But still meaningful for her in her career. And, and, and these ladies getting an opportunity on ESPN as well in the States. Big opportunity as a right hand land there from Clavel. So not a whole lot of tape on either of these ladies, but um, I've seen some some gym work from, from Kim Clavel. She looks very talented, she's a great head movement. She's quick, she's in and out. And then from uh, Gonzalez, she trains in New York. So I know some New York people who have trained with her, and they say that she's very capable, very talented, uh, aggressive, throws a lot of punches, which is exactly what she said in the fire meeting yesterday. Kim Clavel won the NABF female light flyweight title in December, and she was getting ready for her first main event fight in the Montreal Casino on March 21st, and then 10 days before COVID-19 hits, all sporting events are canceled, and she said she spent two days at home just devastated about that. Uh, because for a woman to fight in a main event is huge in your hometown, especially after winning a regional title and what that means for you. And um, picked yourself up and said, you know what, I'm healthy, I'm capable, I'm in great shape, I, I, I'm a nurse. Let me see how I can help. Hey. If I can't fight in the ring, let me help fight this pandemic. And got right to her center resume no, out, no. received several phone calls, and has been a nurse Bo in the front lines ever since. Bo until she got the call for the fight. Respect, I'm in full. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous for her to be, to be that That's selfish. To, You're letting to her go first, I don't want that. Self and okay. her career on Step the line behind your jab, step others. on it. Put that jab right on her face and then drop your two. We got to get that overhand and right going fight. too, yeah. all right? Because she's looking to line you up with that. You got to get that before she does. You got to keep control the action, um, especially from the outside. Led with the jab, the right hand landed several times very well to the head of Gonzalez. Like what I saw in the first round of, of from Kim Colbell. No, no, Casper. Good, looking good to me. That was super bien. Calm, like ça. Precise. Exactly. Good. 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 Let's go. Kim Clavel. Yeah. I got. I got no French. I got. Parlez-vous français? That's. Do you speak French? Yeah, but that's, that's not gonna help us here. Okay, that's it. And you just say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna help us here. <laughs> Round two scheduled for eight. Christina Poncher, Chris Algieri here with you. Inching closer to our main event tonight. Oscar Valdez taking on Jason Velez in a 10 round fight at 130 pounds. Also still to come, Edgar Belanga taking on Eric Moon in our co-main event. 
if you need to get drinks or snacks or anything, do it in between this fight and the next because yeah. you need to be in your seat when that Oscar, or excuse me, when in that front. Oscar Berlanga fight starts. 13 first round KOs to start his career. A little more aggression from Natalie in this round. She's coming out throwing both hands. And a good right hand from Gonzalez. Kind of a slapping shot, though. She hasn't really turned those gloves over too much. She tends to do that from yeah. what I've seen from uh, just a few combinations that we've seen in round one and, and, and start here. Go, go! Yeah, nice though really turns her punches okay. over real nice, especially that right hand. She's doing a good job with that lead left hand as well. Just short on that double jab right hand. Very well-schooled, good fundamentals from, from Kim Clavel. She, Gonzalez has been able to throw and land that right hand, but it's with the palm mm, of, of that glove. But it's she doesn't save his left hook, too. Yeah, like that. Yep. It's a very slappy, slappy punch. Yeah, I sit down Stop. a little bit on those punches. But she just has six fights as a pro. She did have a successful amateur career. And sometimes it takes some fighters a little bit longer to make that transition to really try to generate some more of that power. Well, almost twice as many fights. Good action round yeah, here in round number two. Both ladies. 30 seconds here, too. Letting their hands go. Oh, nice. Good shot. Right. Lavelle, that overhand right. Got a nice little streak going on that he does that he doesn't think about much. I mean, you no. wouldn't mind getting around him and just it doesn't happen. His power just comes so naturally. And from talking to him in the gym, he, he doesn't think about it. It's not it's yeah. not something that's on his mind. It's not the way he trains. It just so happens that all of his fights are ending early. Yeah, it's not like he's like I'm trying to go for some sort of yeah, background. No, not at all. He's got a good head on his shoulders, does that here? Round three scheduled for eight two-minute rounds here for the ladies. Kim Clavel with a really nice start here, although Gonzalez heated things up towards the end of round two as both fighters let their hands fell a little bit more. Gonzalez just having trouble generating much power from those shots as she kind of slaps with her combinations, but does do a good job of you know, throwing multiple punches at time. It's not just one shot and getting oh, yeah, out of no, the way. She lets her hands go good, does, uh, does Gonzalez. But, uh, Clavel has, has just very good fundamentals. Her offense and defense, um, her hand positioning is fantastic. She finishes with her, pun her punches and her hands go right back up into position. Very tough to hit her with counters. Imagine being one of her patients in the hospital and just watching your nurse <laughs> get in a fight uh, on, on ESPN. That's got to give them some uh, more, uh, some, uh, you know, a boost in their, in their, Absolutely. you, you know, in the way that they're feeling. You got a fighter taking care of you while you're fighting for your life. A hundred percent. She said she's made a relationship with a lot of um, elderly patients that she cares for and a lot of these um, elderly homes. And she lands a nice right hand there on the inside. Good feints, too. She's done a really good job of, of, of setting the tone. Really nice inside work, particularly with that right hand as Gonzalez is trying to use her offense as defense at this point. Yeah, but she's taking backward steps a lot. Clavel is using a lot of upper body rhythm and movement to pressure Gonzalez onto her back foot. Not where she wants to be. A little more crisp, a little more strength on her punches. And that's been evident in each and every round of this fight so far. Very, very solid fundamentals from Clavel. Really good job, Kim. Beau round. Beau round, Kim. Something you need uh, about Kim Clavel is that she did a lot of outdoor training for this fight. Said so with the gyms and everything being closed, no boxing being allowed to, to take place, that she actually used her coach as her main sparring partner. Yeah, that was. I thought that was very interesting. The call yesterday, her yeah. coach is a, a, a former fighter herself and, and a, an Olympic coach. Um, very cool. So be yeah. with your coach. Yeah. 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 As you're getting an overview of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Las Vegas Strip, where we've been bringing fights to you for the past six and a half weeks during a global pandemic. We will take a, a few weeks off here after tonight and have a little break and then return for the second installment of the Summer Series uh, in August. But these six and a half weeks have absolutely flown by. Top Rank has, and ESPN in the States have produced 15 shows in the last six and a half weeks, more than any other boxing promoter during these times. Tremendous. As usual, Top Rank paving the way for the world of boxing. 
kind of making the blueprint. There's been definitely some some bumps and bruises, uh, to say the least, in, in losing fights and scheduling with the TV time and et cetera. But it, it will help boxing as a whole as we move forward and other promoters start to get fights back on the air. Bumps and bruises and sore throats. Yeah. <laughs> and in nasal passages from, from test after test, especially with the crew that have been in the bubble for these six weeks. Some people have not left at all. You know, more than here is up. in round number really four. Nice That's it. That's it. Up, up. seems to be outclassing Gonzalez. You know, they mix it up well on the inside, and Gonzalez does let her hands go, but Clavel's defense is on point. She keeps her head off line, keeps her punches moving. Yeah, three, three rounds now, halfway through the fourth, which is really hard to recall a time where Gonzalez really hit Clavel with the rush in this fight. There you go. There's one. Yeah, as I say it, and how many times has that happened? Yeah, generally, uh, Right when you say something, they But still, Clavel's still having a, a, a good way in control. Um, the most consistent touch for Gonzalez has been kind of that slapping left hook, which he's landed a few times. Gonzalez also a mother of two and says that uh, she doesn't really like her kids to watch her fight. She has a, an eight and a ten year old, a son and a daughter. And, uh, so they don't, she doesn't want them to have to think about the stress of their mom getting punched in the face. Especially live fight. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, good, shot, good. good round from yeah, the Yeah, Gonzalez having a lot of success here at the end of this round. Oh, nice, some good shots in this round. Full time fighter, full time mom. And also has a full-time job, so uh, that's that's coming from another mother uh, who has full-time work and a two-year-old, I don't know how you would find time that's to go to the gym. Like, uh, you're you're banging with her. When you bang with her, you're winning. All right? That's the only way we make it you're work. You're better yeah, than her. That was my so girl. Said, wow. You got some good kids. That, that that is, good job, So you're that landing these great combinations, then you're taking two seconds off to let her breathe. Being able to make it all work. Super mother, pretty darn good fighter too. She was, uh, let her hands go very nicely in, in round number four. See her landing that left hook there, big looping overhand right, but then also a little chopping left hand yeah. and to it. Not as clean or crisp as Clavel, but effective nonetheless in that round. Let's go. Through this fight schedule for eight. Looks like a little nick, maybe a little cut by the uh, left eye of Tim Clavel. There's a few head clashes over the rounds. Watch your head. Watch your head. Throws her punches a little wide. Meeting her with that jab hand is Clavel, right? Clavel throws that left jab. She's got her right hand up to match that glove. Yeah, the teletape said that Gonzalez only had a, a single Stop. inch in height and reach. Time! Give me the tape. Than the one inch. Tape her hair, please. Tape her hair. No, no, don't cut it. Stoppage to... Uh, You're good? Fix her. Fix her here, here, which is... Which is strange, good. Um, good? because like, I've okay. seen guys with long hair in male fights, and I've never seen them stop to have them fix their hair. Good point. And this is, it, I, I, mean, I, I think about Polly Ball and yeah. Aji's braids going yeah. everywhere, and it, can you imagine him being like, stop, put his hair back. Yeah, like, he his hair that that, that way. But at what point? Yeah, I mean, it's not excessive. It's not something that is hindered, hindered the fight in any way, but he resumed. And so does the power punch. Nice right cross there by Kim Clavel. Strong down. Your head. Been scoring. And that's what's caused those cuts. She's got some good work here on the inside of this Clavel. Yeah, she, uh, you know, she, she got that right hand that she throws very long and she's very, she keeps the left hook well on the inside. She lands it multiple times, double triples up the left hand, shortens it up nicely. She understands her range and her zones. Good, good combination. And a nice single left hand from 
Morales as she gets caught sometimes though she's switching here orthodox to southpaw for a moment. She's back in the orthodox position, but yeah, I'd like to see her use her length a little bit. You know, she actually when she was throwing her jab early in the round, it was it was somewhat effective oh. to see more of that rather than just fighting on the inside. Because nice Morales just throws sh shorter. Oh. She gets she gets there first. You get that jab on her face, get in there with the right, then I want you uppercut, body shots, break her down. Your hooks are landing better in hers. She's not taking them well. Good coaching Watch your head on the inside. throw her jab more. She, she has a decent long jab. She just doesn't really throw it so much. Gonzalez, she really just wants to come in and throw a wide shots. But like I alluded to in that last round, Cabell's punches are shorter, tighter, and she's able to get, come right up the middle inside the wide shots. It's just that she has a lot of pain because when she's finished to lancer, she lances, but she lances a lot. So the hands are there, and you roll. It's not complicated, it's not your own. It's not your own. It's got to be an advantage having a coach that has been in the ring with you, coaching you on how to fight. You know, as, as yeah, as your sparring partner. Perspective to know what works and what doesn't, what your weaknesses are. Yeah, I wonder how many combinations of fighter and trainers have also been sparring partners. I don't feel like that Not happens very often. Not a whole lot. And probably speaks to the shape and conditioning of her trainer, too. Oh, nice right hand by Clavel. And... Clavel landing at a two to one pace to Gonzalez. 80 shots to Gonzalez's 40 shots. Sounds back. Ooh, good left hook there from Clavel. Big shot. Gonzalez got some chin though. Yeah, she's she didn't tough. even take a step back. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Wow. She was right hands right on the money. Double check, 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 it once or twice and not flush because if she had that slapping kind of style with her punches, you can see there. Good body shot. Hold on. Stop! Again, time! With that lead right hand. She hit her in the hip twice with that hand as they call for the tape once again. Or on the glove or the hair? No, not the hair again. Oh, uh, maybe because it's whipping around. It is long. So maybe it's whipping around. It could hit someone in the eye. I guess. Bucks. I'm gonna let you talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've had one more for me. Now go! I'm just gonna leave that one alone for now. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice shot you. by Cabell with that right hand. Set up perfectly by a feint. <laughs> Seems like Cabell is really separating herself this round. Mm. I like the rhythm too. Yeah. Oh. Nice left hand. She's feeling no, it. No, no. Yeah. They come Good. forward up with a clash of heads, but a, a slip at the end of that round for the dolls. Can we but take that? Can we take that? Can we take that? Can we take that? Oh, yes. Yes, me. Oh, okay. yes. You hear from her trainer. I understood that part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think that's the universal. Sure is. I'll work her now. You have more in the tank than her. You're better than her. Fantastic round from Cabell. Probably landed the hardest punches of the fight tonight. Um, right hands, left hooks. She had a little faint shimmy over the top. Perfect timing. And as you alluded to last round, she does a great job of getting her head off line and throwing that right hand. And here is a little kind of shimmy thing. Hear me? Over I love you right and you're doing hand. fantastic. Let's get this. You and you're doing fantastic. Excellent. You have more in the tank than her. Some of the That's some very let's positive go coaching. Yeah, opp Dude, opposite. Let's, let's go. Yes. Very opposite. Uh, he was honest, but it was Bucks. a brutal beating in the corner and in the ring for Helen Joseph, who I saw on Twitter today said that she wants a rematch with Michaela Mayer and feels that she will knock her out the rematch and just needed more time to prepare. But she had eight weeks. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. So, uh, I don't think
don't think it's necessary either. I, I don't either. I, 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 it's, a hard, it's a hard no for me yeah. on that one. Hopefully, Michaela Mayer moves on to a title shot as that's what she was alluding to. Yeah, that was a lot of awesome. fight. So. Kim Clavel looking good, though, here, taking advantage of her opportunity. And, and Gonzalez is as well. I, I just think Clavel has done. Yeah, she just, she's, yeah, a, she's a little off class. Yeah. yeah. Tim Clavel is, is just a, a more seasoned fighter. Yeah. Well, yeah. A seasoned fighter. Punches up. Punches up. As an amateur and as a professional. Clavel lands a big shot. Again, there's another one with the right hand double up on the jab. Gonzalez is tough, though. She is, she's not really showing pain or, or getting hurt or, or, even, or even getting discouraged. You know, she's, she's in the fight. Hasn't changed her body language at all. She's got some, a, a few fundamentals that she needs to work on and, and improve on that will make her a better fighter. But I, I like her work rate. She's obviously shown that she has a great chin. She throws nice combinations. It's just, and, and there's a good left hand as well. She's got to sit down, turn her gloves over, work out, work on her defense so she gets caught pulling straight back. Some little things that she can tighten up, but she's really in her, in her special yeah. fight. Yeah, I think, uh, I, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think there, there is room for improvement, but. Um, not a bad shot from, from Gonzalez. I like that double left hook, high and low. Left hook to the liver, finish it off. Clavel just doing everything right. Moving her head great. Left oh. hooks, right hand, head, body. Good jab. Very consistent work so far. Every time you turn it on, you land. You got to do it the whole round, Natalie. Give me everything, kid. We can do this, I promise. Just go in there, believe in yourself. Are you hurt? No. Go in there, finish this. You can do it. Here's Pavel. No clean left to him. Right in the middle, and he just woke up with Dallas. Good, solid chin. There was an excellent example of it. Good body work. Comes up the body, and then comes her head on the way out. Because Pavel, what have been doing all night long? Spectacle, spectacle, and then the other one. Let's go. The eighth and final round for the That's ladies close. here as That's we round. move closer to our co-main and main event. Pretty much every round, maybe a round or two for, for Gonzalez there, that, maybe a that, that round five, I believe, four or five. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Stop! That's you! Not back okay. in the head. That's been all Clavel in pretty dominant fashion. One, two, three. Yeah, and a nice counter shot by Gonzalez there. Like I said, Gonzalez not discouraged. Yeah, and, her, and being encouraged by her partner to go out there and finish strong. Going to use some foot paint there. He spoke about the Helen Joseph fight and how the, the negative coaching didn't, didn't get much out of Helen Joseph. The positive coaching gave some, some good results from Gonzalez. So he's coming out and trying. Up, up, up. A little low. But. Stop! Let's go, let's go. Smart bike to, to hold in that clinch. Overhand right for Gonzalez. She's landed some of these shots, they just have to have a little effect. Nothing that will show the judges are wild. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's not a lot of steam. Not a lot of Also, Clavel's landing twice as many clinches. It's very difficult to to take rounds and win exchanges when you're getting hit twice as much as you're landing. Oh, oh big left hand by Clavel. 20 seconds left in the fight. Big right hand. She'd love to finish by knockout if she could. Only two in her professional career in 11 fights. You just don't see very many of them in general in the box. That's a very hard shot. And kudos to the chin of Natalie Gonzalez. As this fight goes the distance. Good work, ladies. Excellent work from both ladies. Uh, very balanced, especially, especially down the stretch. 
Here inside MGM Grand, after eight rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Judges Lisa Giampa, Dave Moretti, and Patricia Morse Jarman all score the bout 80 to 72. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Kim Clavel! Unanimous decision victory for Kim Clavel, who now improves her record to 12 0 with two knockouts. Not a hard one to score there. Congratulations to her and her U.S. debut, top rank on ESPN debut. She is promoted by Brookie Mom Michelle as we take a look at the recap of this one. I like what I saw from Kim Clavel tonight. She uh, she showed great fundamentals offensively and defensively. Let her hands go, countered well. Um, didn't take a whole lot of punches. She was great even, even from Gonzalez, who was actually pretty active when her hands go. Clavel just on a different level tonight. Uh, class, amateur pro. Hand speed. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to, to where she can take it. Yeah, she showed she had superior strength and skill in this fight. Uh, nice, crisp, sharp punches as well. And we set up beautifully. Yeah, they, 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 sure, they sure were. Gonzalez yep. showed some grit and she showed a tremendous chin. Really heavy shot, especially in the last round. Check that one. 